Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we will implement the functionality to show the car in the reactive form. So let's get started. You can see the details that we got from the backend. So here I'm going to create a reactive form where we will show all these details. So let's go to our Angular project and you can see the update car component.ts. So here I'm going to initialize a variable that is a post car DTO. And here we need to give the rest because the response of the API is saved into this variable. So after that, you can see here the returned image where we are getting the URL of the image from the backend. So we need to change this URL into the printable version. So here I'm going to add this line that is a this dot existing image. Let me declare this image on the top. So you can see I have initialized with null and the data type that is a string. So let's save this. Let me add here the console.log to print the card DTO. Let me increment this line. Let's save this. Go to our UI. And you can see the response. Let me make this existing image too. Oh, let me add here existing image let's save this go to our ui and you can see the url for the image that is a print table so let's create a reactive form where we will show all these details so let's go to our update car component.html and here i'm going to add code so you can see the html code you can see the form tag under this we have the div for the image input so for now i'm going to comment this after that you can see the input for the brand and you can see the input for the name the car and you can see the input for the type input for the transmission and you can see the input for the color model year price and the description and you can see the button for the update so let me save this let's go to our scss file so you can see the properties for the styling So let's go to our TS and here we need to create a reactive form. So first of all, here I'm going to initialize a variable that is a date form and it will be a from form group. And here I'm going to inject our form builder. So it will be a FP form form builder and here we need to call this dot date form is equals to this dot fp dot group and in this we need to declare our inputs that we need to get from the html so let's go to our postcard component dot ts and you can see i've created a reactive form for postcard so let me copy all of these inputs and here we need to add in the the libraries of the reactive form so let's import these validators so after that you can see here the drop down for the type brand transmission color okay so we also need to hard code these all arrays so let's go to our ts and here i'm going to copy all of these let's go to our update car component.ts and here i'm going to add after this so you can see the arrays okay 
so after that we need to call here this dot update form dot patch value and here we just need to pass the car dto so let's go to our update car component dot html and you can see the div for the existing image where we have an image tag to show the existing image that saved in our database so you can see the src property where i have added the url that is a existing image so this property will get the image from this ts class you can see here so let's save this go to our ui and let's check we are getting the result or not so you can see we are getting an error let me declare this is spinning in our ts so let me declare here on the top and here we need to initialize with by default false and on this i'm going to call here this dot is spinning and here we need to make it true after getting the response from the backend we need to make it false so here i'm going to call this dot is spinning is equals to false so after that we need to bind our ts with html so here i'm going to copy this variable name go to our update car component dot html and you can see the form tag where we have the directive form name validated form so let me update this with update form so now i'm going to remove this method let's save this go to our ui and you can see our car patched in our directive form successfully so let me refresh the component and you can see so let's go to our dashboard component and let me click on this update button and you can see it's working fine let me increase the width of this input so let's go to our input for the model year okay i'm going to add style property where we need to change the width that is a hundred percent let's save this and let's check and you can see the width increased for the model year let me refresh the component let's go to our dashboard component and uh, let me open this car so let me open here the drop down for the brand and you can see the hard code values for the brand that is a type transmission color and you can see the input for the model year and the price over here and the description so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment in the next video we will implement the functionality of update car in spring boot and angular also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye